On to some Twitter wisdom here from Nick Lockwood. Uh, dry, don't repeat yourself, is one of the most important principles of good programming, but it's also one of the most misunderstood. Totally agree, right? It's not about avoiding repetition of code. It's about avoiding repetition of maintenance. And he has a great tweet. Well, I'll read one more, but there's another tweet I wanna highlight. You know, he says, just because two bits of code look similar, it doesn't mean they should be merged. The question you should be asking is that if I have to change this in the future, will I also have to make the same change to the other function? If that's the case, then yeah, merge them. If not, they should be kept separate. And here's, here's the tweet I wanna highlight. So much so I'm gonna click onto it. Definitely recommend reading the thread and the replies and all that stuff. But I've done this in my junior developer days back in the past, and this really came back to bite me in the ass. So I, I felt this when he said this, because I've made this mistake. One of the worst things you can do is merge two similar functions or classes and add configuration parameters. I've done that so many times where I passed in a bool like is doing this, and then if is doing this is true, okay, tweak the, the code this way. And then if that's false, you know, do a little tweak over here. Yeah, passing in things like that into a function, you know, for the most part ah, are gonna lead to headaches, right? This usually means you're taking two simple, easy to change functions and making them into one hard to change function. And I, I felt that, Nick, I felt that. So definitely uh, check out this thread. And remember, dry is not don't repeat yourself at all costs. It's just a rule of thumb, a guideline. So think for yourself a little bit, how does it apply to your situation? And like Nick says, it's about avoiding repetition of maintenance, not so much repetition of code. This was a clip from an iOS development news show that I put out on a monthly basis. If you like this sort of stuff and you want to see the complete show, check out my channel. I got a whole playlist of them. And if you want to check out Swift News as it's released, I put it out at the beginning of every month. See you in the next one.